Welcome back for some more graph theory. Today we're going to take a look at specific degrees in a tree. The theorem says, let t be a non-trivial tree with maximum degree equal to k, and let n sub i equal the number of vertices of degree i in the tree, and that's for i equal 1, 2, up to max degree k. Then, we can conclude that n1 is equal to n3 plus 2n4 plus 3n5, and keep going until you get to k minus 2 times nk plus 2. If you're wondering about this plus 2, recall that every non-trivial tree has at least two leaves. If you don't remember this, just think about a maximal path in a non-trivial tree, and you'll see that each of the end vertices of that path must have degree 1 and is therefore a leaf. Notice that n1 is the total number of leaves in the tree. Before we prove this result, let's take a look at a small example. So I'll just start to draw a generic tree, and remember I just need to make sure that it's connected and acyclic, and it doesn't really matter how I draw my little example, so let's just say that this one looks good. Now let's start labeling the degrees of all of the vertices, that's pretty easy to do, and now what we want to do is figure out what are these values of ni. Well n1 is 6 because there are 6 degree 1 vertices, n2 is 2, n3 is 1, n4 is 0, there's nothing of degree 4, and n5 is 1. Since the maximum degree is 5, now we're done listing all of our n's. If we take a look at the right hand side of the equation, we're going to have n3 plus 2n4 plus 3n5 plus 2. Substituting in the values, we get 1 plus 0 plus 3 plus 2, and that does equal 6, which is our n1. So in this example, we see that the theorem holds. So we see that it works on this little example, but of course this is not a proof. So now we need to show that this relationship does hold for any non-trivial tree. Suppose t is a non-trivial tree, and let n be the number of vertices and m be the number of edges. Then m is equal to n minus 1, which we've seen in previous videos. Also, if we sum up i times ni for i equal 1 up to k, that's equal to the sum of the degrees of all of the vertices. And we've seen before that this is twice the number of edges. Since m is n minus 1, we get the following. You may be wondering why is it that the sum of all of these i times ni's is equal to the sum of the degrees? Just think about a particular value of i and ni. Then you'll have a bunch of vertices which each have degree i, and there are ni of these, so I've drawn it as if there's only two, but there could be any number. What this means is that the sum of the degrees of this particular set of vertices is going to be i plus i plus i ni times, and that's how we get this i times ni. Now you need to do this same sum for every different degree i, and overall you'll have summed up all of the degrees in the whole tree. Now if we look back at the right hand side of this equation we have 2n minus 2. I'm going to write it down again, 2 times something minus 2, and I want to write the n in a different way. n can also be written as the sum of all of the ni's, where i goes from 1 up till k. Remember that ni is just the number of vertices of degree i, so if you sum them all up you'll get the total number of vertices. Therefore, the sum of the i times ni, for i equals 1 to k, minus the right hand side, which is now 2 times the sum of the ni's, and then plus 2, is equal to 0. If we simplify this a little bit, what we get is the sum of i minus 2 times ni, where i goes from 1 up to k. And don't forget the plus 2. All of this equals 0. If we expand this out for every value of i from 1 up to k, we'll get minus 1 times n1, plus 0 times n2, plus 1 times n3, plus 2 times n4, plus 3 times n5, keep going until you get k minus 2 times nk, finally plus 2, and it all equals 0. Since we can ignore this 0 times n2, we can easily solve for n1, and we get exactly the equation that we were trying to prove. So this completes our proof. 
This equation tells you the relationship between the number of vertices of specific degrees in any non-trivial tree. If you've enjoyed this video, subscribe for more updates and I'll see you next time.